Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching The Thing. This is a yes. film that came out in 1982. John Carpenter is directing this and we are super mm -hmm. excited because we are horror fans but we have not seen many 80s horror films or, or yep. 70s horror films. And a lot of people suggested while watching Aliens and Alien that we should yeah. give The Thing a try. So those two movies blew my mind. And honestly those movies hold up really well. It's, yeah. Im it's impressive. Everything from the set design and, and how much of the practical effects allows that illusion to you know be basically yeah. timeless when done right so that's something that i'm very passionate about in filmmaking i i personally you know whenever we make a, a creature feature i would definitely love to <laughs> go straight into through the you know the practical the, you know and then enhance it with cgi i think that's the the right way of doing things versus yeah. just the cgi monster because i think you can always tell you know when some yeah. work is put into the creature itself i'm actually really really excited to see this staple of horror i've heard a few things about it but i'm i don't know like what the plot is or like what it, what exactly is going on i just know that it's john carpenter and it's supposed to be really really good so yeah. i'm i'm pumped i'm ready to do this it's one of those uh <laughs> horror classes that a lot of people like to recommend especially for yeah. people like us who have not delved into older films that much so i'm really excited yeah. to see what they were able to do back in the day and uh check this out because a lot of people love this so yeah. and i know you guys have really <laughs> good taste i trust your taste yes. so with that being said guys <laughs> we are gonna go ahead and dive right in thank you guys so much for watching watching this with us and we'll catch you guys after the movie. Take care. See ya. It's a UFO. Okay, that's a spaceship. I knew they were real. I told you. <laughs> I it's all over the news. <laughs> we had proof all along, guys. Oh, that's <laughs> a really cool logo. Get that title card, dude. That's awesome. Reveal. I love the way they did the logo reveals back in the day. Even yeah. aliens, like they like to take their time, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm loving this already. Kind of looks like Boston in the winter. <laughs> 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 it's true. It's just, no, that's all you see. Uh, Those places must be like so so freaking cold like beyond our comprehension like yeah. there is our kind of winter cold and then there's yeah. like that cold that's like unbearable cold Doggo. he better not die he better not die though <laughs> oh it's such a beautiful pup yeah keep the doggo safe please yes where did this shoot this this looks like on location is this like alaska or something He's not gonna kill the... What is it, like a wolf? What? Get that aim, bro. <laughs> okay, the dog... The, the dog got to live. Oh, it spoke too soon, okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, in his defense, it's really hard to shoot something <laughs> on a moving, you know, in a moving vehicle. <laughs> When the target is also moving. I feel so. like you responded to my thoughts because I was about to judge him so hardcore <laughs> know, for I being like, bro. <laughs> I'm like, okay, listen. Just radiating off of me. This is Come before on. Call of Duty existed, okay? Give the man a break. <laughs> oh, nice. Baby. You're nice. There he is. Oh, my goodness. Get that scotch, man. Your move, King, to Rook 1. My move, Rook, to Knight 6. Checkmate. Checkmate. Oh, ouch. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> <Cheating> bitch. <laughs> I mean, that's a great way to beat a game. I mean, you I know, mean, just yes. get rid of it. <laughs> he may have lost the game, but he won the battle. Oh, absolutely. Oh, man, he's still shooting after the dog. Bro, like... I love how they always put, like, chess in films to show us, like, a certain level of intelligence with the characters. Like, yeah. or at least strategy, right? Like, okay. Strategy, exactly. You know. Thinking a few moves ahead National Science Institute station four he's just out there with a t-shirt my god <laughs> what's he doing circling the camp who is he it's Norwegian mm. interesting okay is that what I think it is your terrible shots are gonna blow up the dog Oh, you're a terrible shot with that too. Got it. Is he trying to blow up the dog? Oh, or is he point? trying to do something else? 
Yeah, I'm like, what is he trying to do, man? Can you imagine he was trying to do something entirely different and I'm over here roasting him? If he's gonna be one of our main characters, we're kind of screwed here. Yeah. I can't shoot for <laughs> shit. What are you doing? What? <laughs> Whoa! What the f Jesus! Ah. What the hell is wrong with this guy? What is with this guy? Oh, damn. He's a good shot. Jeez. One bullet. Oh, that's gnarly the that's way he was switching after that. Switch. That's really realistic. What's going on then? <laughs> First step in treating a wound in the field, alcohol. I mean, it can hurt to numb a little, you know? I'm sure it helps a little bit. What was his deal though? That is so bizarre. And then dropping the, the little grenade thing was so stupid. It's an interesting day uh, at the office, isn't it? It's like, yeah, we were uh, investigating and analyzing all these things and then someone mm. just came up and tried to kill all of us. Yeah, certainly. Uh, oh, come on. Four stitches, barely grazed you. <laughs> what were they doing flying that low? Shooting at a dog. At us. Cabin fever, who knows? Oh, mm. cabin fever. That's a valid theory, actually. Yeah. Murdo, urgent. Come in, over. Nobody. Nobody. Get a hold of somebody. Get a hold of anybody. We gotta report this mess. Look, I haven't been able to reach shit in two weeks, and you want me to reach somebody. Two weeks? Isolated Jesus. like that? Well, okay. They're definitely establishing hey. here. If something goes wrong, there's That's no it, one yeah. they can call for yeah. help. Okay. Yep. Good to know. Maybe we had war with Norway. I was wondering when El Capitan was going to get a chance to use his pop gun. <laughs> El Capitan. How long have they been stationed there? It says here only eight weeks. Well, that's not long enough for guys to go bunkers. Bullshit, Barnum. Five minutes is enough to put a man over down here. <laughs> I mean, look at Pong. He's been the way he is since the first day. <laughs> well, nothing we can do about that. Oh, yes, there is. I want to go up. In this weather, Bennings? Can't condone it much myself. An hour there, an hour back. Still an hour out there in the cold, man. That's a lot. Still an hour. McCready! Hank, get your gear on! <laughs> He's like, sigh. <laughs> <laughs> Time for an adventure. I'm sure nothing terrible is gonna happen. You really want to save those crazy Swedes, huh? Norwegians. <laughs> <laughs> At least they got entertainment out there. Look at that. It's like a little baby ar arcade. Oh, poor doggo. Probably traumatized. Poor baby. Is he wearing a uh, Stetson? <laughs> this is not gonna end well. No, it's gonna be terrible. I know the score is very simple at the moment, but it's fantastic at setting the mood. It kind of gives you a feeling of like anticipation. Yes, but also ominous. Ominous. A. Hey. No, will That's you turn a good that song. crap down? I'm trying to get some sleep. I was shot today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you don't turn this song down. He's like, nope. Oh boy. I love the handheld field too. That's awesome. Yes. Oh no, if Doggo senses something's wrong, something's wrong. Yeah, always trust animals, man. He looks like a happy dog so far. Okay, that was an abrupt. <laughs> that was okay. Cut. But Weird. at least it establishes the mood, right? It gives us a little sense of the location as well. Yeah. I love when movies do that. They're like, they just take you around the whole set just so you know yeah. the space that they're working with. They did the same thing with Alien. Yeah, it gives you an idea of how much you're working with, right? How small, how large, like. Exactly. How many places are there to hide for your character potentially? Oh god. Oh, wow. Is this where the Norwegians were stationed? I would assume so. It looks like a battlefield. Holy crap. What happened here, dude? Anybody there? Hey, Sweden. Ah, uh, Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Norwegian, <laughs> man. Come on. This is more in my territory kind of uh, score. I'm loving this kind of music. Yeah. This is like... Great use of shadows and highlights, too. Yes. 
There's an the, axe with blood. I, yeah, I, I don't know. know, man. I like the minimal lighting. It's a strong choice. It's a bold choice. Yeah. You just have like a few key lights. Very nice. Shows you just enough. I'm just a sucker for a contrast in lighting when it comes to filmmaking. Yes. Yeah. Just make things look so much more cinematic, in my opinion. Yeah. Backlit scenes. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that guy's... Did he, like, freeze to death? Well, the, there were bloody footsteps, though, no? Is that a razor blade? Whoa! Oh, that is terrifying. My God, what the hell happened here? Come on, Doc. Did he... Might have, yeah. Looks like... It, I mean, at least the razor is in his yeah. hand. Who knows? Someone could have staged it to look that way, too. This place is, like, absolutely destroyed. <laughs> it looks horrible. Yeah, it looks like the Norwegians had a bit of a rough time, huh? Anything? It's all in Norwegian. They don't have someone to translate? That sucks. Could be important work. I want to take it back with us. Well, it's getting late. Let's hurry yeah. it up. I'll check out the last few rooms. Hey, Topper, come here! Oh, God, what now? What is that? What the hell? <laughs> I love the sinister. I know. <laughs> Something sinister. It's a block of ice. Maybe they found a fossil. It remains of some animal buried in the ice and they chopped it up. But where is it? Oh. Huh. More fuel. What is that? Whoa. Oh. Is that a man in there? Whatever it is, they burn it up in a hurry. Help me find a shovel, Doc. So they've been trying to just burn. Burn almost everything. Whatever huh? did that. It's like that meme. <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting. So what, they found it in the ice? Oh, what did they bring back? Oh, oh, no. Guys. No. We don't know what we're dealing with here. What, no masks, gloves? Come on. Nope. It's going straight up their nostrils. <laughs> yeah. That's great. What is that? <laughs> it looks gnarly as hell. I'd like you to start an autopsy right away. Please start the autopsy. I need to know what that is. It kind of looks humanoid. Is that a it's... face? It, it, yeah. Yeah, it does look humanoid. You're right. I mean, it has hands. No, it is a person. It's just like this figure. Wait, is that two faces? That looks so <laughs> grotesque. That looks <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh boy. I love his intensity in this. <laughs> <laughs> The hell, man? Again, practical effects are on point with this, I man. I know, that's This is amazing. amazing. Looks like a real we got here organ. is what appears to be, anyway, a normal set of internal organs. Okay. Heart, lungs, kidneys, liver. Okay. Seem to be normal. So... Normal. How do you explain that? Because that does not look normal, normal man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Clark, will you put this mutt with the others where he belongs? Poor dog. Yeah, okay. Why don't you go take the dog out? That dog is going to be important. They're giving him way too much free yeah, time for an animal. <laughs> go ahead. What are you waiting for? Oh, they have other dogs, too. Yeah. Dog is probably traumatized as hell from the morning he had. It's not acting right. Poor baby. What the hell? Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa! What the? F <laughs> what? The hell what is the that? Hell? Oh my god! Oh, that is so gross! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get those other dogs out of there! I knew it! I mean, I know I didn't know it. Is it a parasite? What the? F Oh no. Oh no, get the dogs out there, please! It's like a spider. Oh no! Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no. Man, 
Man, that is amazing. Was that like stop motion? How they made that little transformation there? There's a chance it could be, yeah. Excellent, the light is not working. That is just perfect. <sighs> of course. That makes sense. That's why he was trying to kill the dog. He probably knew yeah. there was something wrong with it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> close the damn door, dude. <laughs> close it and get out of there. That thing is creepy. It's like a spider. I don't hell? like spiders, man. But it's also like tentacly weird. It's like all the things that we don't want. <laughs> like, it's yes. great. What? Very attentive. Good for him. Mac wants the flamethrower. Mac wants the what? That's what he said. Now move. The flamethrower? Yeah, at least they got weapons, right? They're not yeah, like that's our. True. It's like and the Nostromo crew. They had nothing to work with but <laughs> reworked. And he has a shotgun too. So. Tools. Yeah, he has a shoddy. Whoa. Bro, what is. What? That looks so freaking creepy, man. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> Oh man, I'm glad that they, they got to experience this for the first time. <laughs> Jeez. Dude. Oh god, oh. is that the dog? Poor dog, yeah. what the- That would be my reaction to Yes, too. yes, yes. Just start shooting it up. Mess it up, bro. Mess it up, get it. Double tap it, triple tap it. No! No! Back! He did the right thing, he has Yeah, to what do you mean though? You realize too. those are not your dogs anymore, right? And the other one is probably infected too. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Look at those claws. No way. <gasps> no way. Well. Get your ass over here. Don't have to tell me that again. What the hell? It's like. Is that an eye? Damn it, child, torch it. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Does fire help? I would hope I guess fire. Guess we will find out. Yeah, it looks like it's uh... I would let it crisp up a little bit more before I put the <laughs> fire extinguisher. I agree with you. I think that's a wise idea. I would let it really disintegrate before my eyes. Yes, before I even extra, extra crispy. Before I even dare to go inside the room. Can we talk about how well, this was shot. Like this is, um, <laughs> dude, we were talking about the practical effects in the beginning. This is incredible. That was great. The atmosphere and how it just sucks you in. It's uh -huh. so gripping. The setup too, man. It's like a, what is it, a lobster? <laughs> Thing looks disgusting, man. It's the weirdest <laughs> alien I've ever seen. That is not great. So does it like convert other matter into, like does it absorb it and just use other matter it to just make like, itself? Oh my God. Yeah, you can say that again. Look, it looks like that thing again. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me too. <laughs> wow. What the hell is that? I have no idea, but it looks awesome. Looks like a face. You see, what we're talking about here is an organism that imitates other life forms, and it imitates them perfectly. When this thing attacked our dogs, it tried to digest them, absorb them. Ah. Absorb them? Very nice. We got to it before it had time to finish. Oh, so it needs time to transform itself. Finish imitating these dogs. Wow. Oh my god. Easy. That's incredible. So is that how it reproduces? Does it, does it just spread like a disease and then it, it infects other things and absorb it and then imitate and then... And then and then just keep spreading or... I guess so. Or... Clark. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't Did know. Did you notice anything strange about the dog? Anything at all? Strange? No. What was the dog doing in the rec room? It's just wandering around camp all day. <sighs> Are you saying to me the dog wasn't put in the kennel until last night? How long were you alone with that dog? Oh my god, oh I'm- my god. Yeah! Oh, shoot! Hour and a half, maybe? An hour and a half. What the hell are you looking at me like that for? You know exactly why, bro. Yeah. I don't know. What? I don't know, it's probably nothing. Wait, does it take your memories too? Cause that would be like the best way oh, to know, like, right? imitate you all the way? Ask him a question that only you would know, right? 
unless it absorbs absorbs everything yeah. that would be the most terrifying thing down to your mannerisms we can't learn anything from this guess not is this the norwegians yes i believe so yeah looks like they were on some expedition what's that it looks like something buried under the ice Oh, did the ship crash land in? Oh, dude. And look at that. They're planning thermite charges. Whatever yeah. it was, it was bigger than that block of ice you found. Do not go look, please. Please do please not go do, look do for not. it. Just, it's not a good idea, guys. Let sleeping dogs lie. Alien dogs lie. Alien dogs lie. <laughs> what an interesting premise, man. This is awesome. But it's, it's also like a, great because you're so isolated out there. It's like a secret alien invasion. Imagine what would happen if yes! this thing, like, they're lucky this is isolated. Imagine if this thing hit, like, New York or Chicago or no, LA. Like, don't. It would be a massacre. <laughs> I love how, you know, older films just take their time with the story and how yes. they build upon the little tensions here and there. They don't mm -hmm. just give you everything. Wow. Yo, I see that. Imagine you're just like a researcher. <laughs> Hey, you just happened Damn. to stumble upon a freaking UFO Wait, like that. Wait, they're going down there? Guys, come on. Now you're just asking for it. To be fair, I would probably do the same thing. I know it's a horror what movie and all, for? but... What the hell for? I'm curious. I want to see what there's in there. Curious for what? It's, it's taking over dogs ship. and possibly humans. To, have you not learned anything from horror movies? I would probably die. My curiosity yes. is outweighs <laughs> my survival instincts. <laughs> Actually, me too. I would totally... I'd be like the third person to die in a horror movie. Good to know you're not the first one. You're like, eh, not somewhere the in the first. middle. I'd say the ice that's buried in is 100,000 years old, at least. 100,000 years old. Holy crap. What is to say that that's the only thing? You believe any of this voodoo bullshit, Blair? Kyle, chariots of the gods, man. They practically own South America. I mean, they taught the Incas everything they know. <laughs> Got it. So yeah, he's definitely a believer. Yes. I mean, there has to be something out there, right? Mathematically speaking. Now how's this motherfucker wake up after thousands of years in the ice? Interesting. Because it's from outer space. What do you want from me? Ask him. Yeah, I mean, the doctor will probably have a better idea of how it could work. You buy any of this, Blair? Don't leave us there with Don't the mystery, man. Hanging. Explain. <laughs> I want to hear the theories. Yeah probably, yeah, probably seeing how exactly it works. Wow, oh, just like it that. just copies. Yeah. yeah. So it copies wow. it at a cellular level. It doesn't just it not it doesn't just look like the dog. It it becomes yeah, the dog. Like it be yeah. Why was it turning into a different dog to begin with? Does it like run out of energy or 75% oh my oh god my the paranoia god. I would be so paranoid I'll lock my doors Dude, I would not trust anyone quarantine everybody yeah stay there until they can contact the government 27,000 hours yeah dude. yeah exactly yeah. they cannot reach a big city like that would be disastrous I have to talk to you I'm tired of talking fix I just want to get up to my shack and get drunk Mac it's important <laughs> sounds like a good plan man outside it's 40 below outside in the thigh call Please, man. That's not suspicious. See? This is how you do a secret invasion type of story yes. with that paranoia. This is it, man. We gotta just burn these things. Can't burn the find of the century. That's gonna win somebody the Nobel Prize. <sighs> yeah. Or get you all killed. One or the other, I mean. I mean if I <laughs> you up? Wait, did that move? It did move. I wanna get some stuff out of here. How much damage can it take? Damn, dude. Oh, hell no. This is so fascinating. I mean, clearly you can survive being frozen for what is likely 100,000 years. So we already know it's resilient to the cold. There's something wrong with Blair. He's locked himself in his room and he won't answer the door. So I took one of his notebooks from the lab. Excellent. It needs to be alone and in close proximity with the life form to be absorbed. Chameleon strikes in the dark. So is Blair cracking up or what? Even if McCready, there is still cellular activity in these burned remains. They're not dead yet. They're not dead yet. Yeah. So how do you have to destroy every single cell out of this thing? You got to evil dead rise that shit. At a cellular level. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Bennings. I got to get some sleep. Whoa. Dude, what the hell? Who did it get this time? 
<laughs> oh, this is gonna be so bad, isn't it? Oh! Holy crap! <laughs> Wait, I would I would set the entire place on fire. They need to figure out a way to trap it. Seriously. Benny's was right there, Mac. Nothing. I swear to God it had a hold of him. Oh, oh shit. Oh no. Oh dude. Oh, no. What? It isn't Benny. That's that's not him. Yes. Dude, what the hell? Yep. That's probably the best thing to do. Hope that works. Immolation? That was one of those things out there. Trying to imitate him, Gary. Hmm. Oh, Gary. Critty, I know Bennings. I've known him for 10 years. He's my friend. You gotta burn the rest of them. Yeah, you can't leave a trace, man. It's too dangerous. Don't waste all of it, guys. Come on. But yeah, you're right, they should manage the resources, because they're going to need them. Yeah, exactly, because we don't know... We don't even know if fire is effective, 100%. Right. We cleaned out the storehouse, the lab, there is nothing left. Where's Blair? They have to stop letting people oh out of their God. sight, man. Everybody has to stick together. It's, it's so interesting, because it really is like an infection, like a disease. And you don't know who has it, who is symptomatic, right? I can't find Blair. Where's everybody else? Windows is in the radio room, still trying to get through. Everyone else is in the rec room. You go on, I'll be in in a minute. This is bad, dude. This is really bad. Yeah, and they can't reach anybody. Blair? Take Blair. your flamethrower with you, man. Take just your flamethrower, yes. Cause... Wait. What was that? Wait, what? Was that a gunshot? That sounded like a gunshot, right? Dude, look at that shot, man. That was great. He smashed up some of the chopper pretty good. He's trying to avoid anybody from leaving the place. You got it, Nick, huh? Dude, what the hell? Christ. I think the sheer fear of that thing leaving yeah. this area. And he's killed the rest of the dogs. Dude, what? Come on, man. You don't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> oh. He's gotta run out of bullets sometime, right? Nice. Now. There you go. Now, yeah. Yep. Get him, yep. get him, get him, get him. Damn, he was gonna hit him. Yeah, it was actually. Axe. Holy shit. Yeah, Doc is strong, man. Damn, Doc is. He can handle himself. God damn. How you doing, old boy? I don't know who to trust. Yeah, it makes sense. Trust's a tough thing to come by these days. Yeah. Tell you what, why don't you just trust in the Lord? <laughs> I mean. I said, watch Clark and watch him close. Do you hear me? He suspects of Clark? Yeah. How would we know it's not him? That would be genius. He already cut off communication, even though they had basically none. Destroyed the helicopter. Right. Yeah. So how do we know who's human? If I was an imitation, how would you know if it was really me? Exactly. Right. Excellent question. I've been thinking about a blood serum test. What's that? Okay. You could take a sample of each person's blood, you could mix it with uncontaminated blood. I suppose if there's a reaction, we'd know who isn't human. Oh, but that makes sense, actually. That's quite smart. If you mix uncontaminated blood with potentially contaminated, yes. then it would have to assimilate the new blood, right? And right. it would cause it would a reaction. Start a, yeah, exactly. It's actually really smart. Gary! Hey, you guys, come here! Oh, no. Somebody got to the blood. What? How was it that? Is it It's that smart? Well, who's got access to it? Who's got access to it? Oh, I guess cool. I'm the only one. And I got the only key. Who else could he use that key? Nobody. I just give it to Copper whenever he needs it. Could anybody have gotten it from you, Doc? I don't see how. As soon as I'm finished, I return it right away. Oh uh -huh. my god. <laughs> he seems very nervous. Guys, everyone needs to stop. Oh shit. Oh dude, look at this shot. This is amazing. I'm loving these tracking shots. They're amazing. Oh, dude, oh, this is going to escalate so fire badly. Fire weapons into it. You guys going to listen to Gary? You going to let him give the orders? I mean, he could be one of those things. And so could you, technically. Wait a minute. Just take it easy. Put the gun down. Yeah, both of you put the guns down. Down, Gary, you don't want to hurt anybody. Right. On the floor. Yeah, guys, don't escalate this. Everybody's very nervous already. Whoa. I give you my word, I did not go near that blood. Damn, it shows you how little words mean. Somebody else was in charge. 
I'm sorry, fellas, but I, I, I'm not up to it. I'll take it. Like hell you will. You should be somebody a little more even-tempered, child. Yeah, no weapons yeah. until we can figure out who the hell is yeah. the thing. <laughs> this is great, man. Wow, man. I'm trying to figure out what the, the, the feeling is. It's like constant anxiety. It's paranoia. It's a different kind of horror. Yeah. I'm going to hide this tape when I'm finished. Storm's been hitting us hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. Yeah, I would be, I would be down well, in man. that scotch too, man. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Oh. Huh. Some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. Mm. It's smart. It covers its tracks. Nobody trusts anybody now. We're all very tired. How would it have the knowledge about the blood bags and the tag? That is the worst part. You can't do anything right now. All you can do is just wait. Oh, I love that framing. That is beautiful. Nice. If a small particle of this thing is enough to take over an entire organism, then everyone should prepare their own meals. And I suggest we only eat out of cans. Yeah. Yeah. At least start treating it with as much respect as you can. Oh, bro. Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> that got me. That was that was a that was good. Okay, that that caught me off guard. <laughs> it's the music. It's like it puts you in a trance. You know, it's so funny. It feels otherworldly. Mmm. Good observation. They probably were going for that kind of sound. Oh. Creedy. We have a tag. Windows, you come with us. Norris, you stay here. Any of them move, you fry them. You hear anything. Anything at all, you cut loose on the siren. And everybody watch whoever you're with. The messed up part is the guys that are tied up. If they are actually not infected, they're going to be sitting ducks. Oh my god, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Hey, Blair, have you seen Fuchs? Blair? Oh, okay. I don't want to stay out here anymore. I want to come back inside. Have you come across Fuchs? It ain't Fuchs. It ain't. So it's already got him. I'd like to come back inside. Now you got my promise. Huh. Nah, man. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a There's a news there, dude. I'm all right. I'm much better. And I won't harm anybody. And you got to let me come back inside. What would you guys do? That's heartbreaking, though, because if the guy's having a mental breakdown and then he was not the thing, you're responsible. If it's not him anymore. Like what I would have done, I would have locked oh, everyone, man. everyone in one room and just stay up and watch each other. Why would it burn? Blair, maybe he tried to burn it. Maybe he burned himself before it could get to him. Oh my god. No way. Where are we going? Up to my shack. What the hell for? Because when I left yesterday, I turned the lights off. Oh. You know, I like how resourceful he is. Yeah, just me like, too. You know, he's not just a pilot. This guy knows uh -huh. what he's doing. I love competent characters yes. in horror movies. Very competent. We better start closing all the outside doors. Oh, what a mess. Damn, you know, kind of reminds me of those movies when there's like a killer and the det detective comes in and you're trying to figure out who's <laughs> who did it. Yeah. You know, it's like a whodunit That's type of true. film, but it's combined it really, with horror. It's so it, awesome. Yeah, dude. it has that mystery thriller element to it. Oh. Hold up. What? McGrady. I cut him loose of the lineup by his shack. It was stashed in his own oil furnace. Wind must have dislodged it, but I don't think he saw me find it. Yeah. McCready? He's one of them. When do you think it got to him? I don't know. And Windows, where were you? In Palm Road, you Where were you? Oh my God! What the hell? It's against each other. Oh Whoa, shit! Whoa! Be careful. Yep, that's it. Let's open it. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I would just open and just blast whatever's on the other side. Maybe our best chance to blow it away. No. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. What if we wrong about him? Why then we wrong? Well, then we're wrong. Okay. He's reached that point where he just doesn't care. He yeah, just wants to leave I mean, out of here alive. It's your survival. Whatever right, the hell you are. Ah, oh, dude. Oh man. Anyone messes with me, and the whole camp goes. Whoa. Put those torches on the floor and back off. Back off. Way off. Damn, dude, I don't know who to trust. I don't trust anybody at this point. You asshole. You'd have done the same thing. Don't argue with him. <laughs> Where's the rap? <gasps> oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, dude. Hey, 
Wait a minute. It's cool, McCready. It's cool, man. Come on. It's cool. I'm trying to kill him, man. Oh, there's something wrong with this guy. Oh, there's something wrong with this guy. Oh, no. Well, you got dynamite in your hand. That's true. One time to die. Get him in here. Little mouth to mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. You had to give CPR to an alien. <sighs> Never occurred to the jury that anybody could have got some of my clothes and stuck them up the furnace. Yeah. Windows, we like defibrillator over here. Yeah, a little defib. I love that the focus is on the scalpel and the... That was great. That was fantastic. Some of the visual choices they do in the cinematography are great. That's fantastic. Clear! Clear! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> no! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that is so... Different. <laughs> oh, this is nightmare Dude, fuel. What the f How did they do this? I have no idea, dude. What in the hell? Oh my god, this is terrifying. Burn it all, man. Oh, bro. Oh, hell no. Uh. <laughs> oh, hell no, dude. That is fantastic. This is incredible. The practical Holy effects, shit. obviously. The, the situation is freaking dire, but... Nah, man. Get rid of that. The head. Bro. Oh. Uh. Uh. It's like a giant spider again. Uh, uh, I don't like this. No. I'm not a fan of spiders. So noping out of there. Uh. That's so gnarly. <laughs> and it's upside uh, down too. It's so messed up. Guys! Oh my god. I think they're You gotta be fucking kidding. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Awesome. Burn it all. And it screams like him, too. I know. That's so messed up. He wasted Norris pretty quick, didn't he? That's close enough, Clark. He ain't tying me up. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'll have to kill you, child. Don't trust anybody. Then kill me. Really? Do you want to go through with that? Yeah. You will not hesitate, man. Don't I mean it. I believe him. I believe him. Oh, the scalpel. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I guess you do. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I mean, he told you guys. He meant it. This is bullshit, Mac. Finish it, Palmer. They're dead, Mac. Burn them. This Doesn't is like matter. supernatural, like, sci-fi Lord of the Flies. <laughs> We're gonna draw a little bit of everybody's blood. Okay. Okay. Because we're going to find out who's the thing. How? Every little piece is an individual animal with a built-in desire to protect its own life. Oh, every oh. cell. The blood from one of you things won't obey when it's attacked. It'll mm -hmm. try and survive. Crawl away from a hot needle, say. <laughs> I'm loving the lore, man. This oh, movie is dude, like... This is incredible, My man. jam, absolutely. This is amazing, dude. That def defibrillator scene, that was gnarly. It was amazing, I was dude. not expecting that. Probably should disinfect it a little bit better than that. I was going to say, you might want to... Uh... Even this is like, there's an element of... Yeah. I mean, not an element. This is literally body horror. Why are you acting weird, man? Yeah, he's acting hella You're suspicious. You're acting really, really <laughs> suspicious right now, dude. Oh my god, the tension. My question is, is the person that's turning... Gonna feel it? Are they aware of what's happening? Like, is their conscience being taken over the same way? Alright, put that on and watch them. Assuming his theory is correct, too, right? Assume, we don't know right, if this which is actually going to work. That's still an if. Now, Clark. And Clark was human, huh? 
Which makes you a murderer, don't it? <laughs> I like how he's so focused. Nothing yeah. is going to distract him from this. This is pure nonsense. Doesn't prove a thing. We'll see. You were the only one that could have got to that blood. We'll do you last. <laughs> oh! oh, shit. Retreating. Oh. Dude, that is so messed up. Oh, my God. Holy. Dude. Oh, no, 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 Oh my god, and they can't go anywhere. Get those men away from him. Jesus! Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Get it, get it. What are what you waiting for? Oh my fucking god. Oh my oh. god. <gasps> it just. Dude, they're strong. <laughs> wow. Dude, this is not the right time for that flamethrower to be giving you problems, man. Whoa. Dude, this scream is so disturbing. And the design. It keeps taking different shapes and it just looks horrible. Dude, yeah, look. Look at that. That's an actual stunt person doing this. It's not some fake flame bullshit. Like, actual... Very nice. Good job. Okay, that's one it's out of- It's a 7.5 on the throw, but I'm positively surprised. <laughs> so it's going to be an 8 for me. <laughs> that was an awesome twist there. How the f*** is he still alive? No. Yep. Yep, sorry, man. That sucks. That's so messed Let's up, Let's say man. he was not infected. That's a horrible way to go. You just almost got yeah. eaten by an alien thing, and now you just burned to death. That's just not a fun way to go. So his theory worked. It worked. <sighs> okay. Now he's helping him, yeah. Dude, how many of them are left? Three? The way that thing gave a, a jump scare, Dude. that was so... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one to be infected. I was expecting the next one after that. Cut me the hell! Come on, get me out of yeah. here! That would be... yeah. I know you gentlemen have been through a lot, but when you find the time, I'd rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this fucking couch! <laughs> I kind of feel bad. He was, I mean, he was yeah. acting very suspicious. It's kind of his fault, too. It was, it was a little weird, yeah, but... <laughs> you know? Just don't act suspicious in these kind of situations, the, the, Well, man. the thing is, like, if, if you're looking for it, everything is going to look suspicious, you know what I mean? Well, I guess the problem was they all accused them. They were all kind of like, wait, wait a second. Well, to be fair, the whole key situation we're was... We're going out to get Blair the test. If he tries to make it back here and we're not with him, burn him. <sighs> Jesus. A little barbecue weekend. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. A barbecue weekend. That's a... A BBQ with the friends, you know, the... Oh, the door's open. Oh, no. Oh, he's definitely a, th a thing as well. How do you get out? Door was bolted from the outside. Because it's super strong and it's yeah. not him anymore. I mean, that's the only explanation. Yeah, that, that was my thought. If it's not him anymore. Because by the looks of it, they can super jump. They have super strength, right? Yes. They're just like... Super resilience. <laughs> capable of doing things that we cannot. <laughs> wow. How the hell does that work? Don't go down there, bro. It's not worth it. Is that always there? I don't know. Did this thing dig it up? Oh, shit. Wait, is this a spaceship? That's part of the ship, no? It's fixing the ship? It's a ship of some kind. He stole the parts from the helicopter. Smart SOB, put it together piece by piece. Where was he trying to go? Any place but here. Yeah, he's trying to infect more people. So he is, right? We, we can assume that the doctor is, in fact, a thing. Yeah, I think it's safe to assume so. It amazes me how, like, intelligent they are. Potentially smarter than us, really. Right. Like, it can just create its own tech by gathering other parts. Guys, come here. Doing outside. Was that the fuse again? Are you kidding me? Six hours, it'll be a hundred below in here. 
Oh, a hundred below. Wants to freeze now. It's got no way out of here. Just wants to go to sleep in the cold until the rescue team finds it. Oh. Uh. What can we do? Whether we make it or not, we can't let the thing freeze again. Yeah, exactly. Because they will die, but the thing can survive. We're not getting out of here alive. Yeah. Destroy its way out. Yeah, there smart. There you go. Smart. Ooh. Step one. It's almost like we're seeing exactly what went down in the other base when everything was just destroyed and burned yeah, to the ground. Actually. They probably thought they went through the same thought process. Try to isolate it and then trap it. That would be what I would do, but they've been trying that. It just keeps evading them. Damn, to be fair, though, that? what's what's oh, the pilot's name? Uh, McCready. Mc McCready. He's really smart. Like he yeah. came up with a few solutions there that are pretty creative. Yeah. Destroying everything. They're tearing it all down, man. It really is impressive because practical work takes a whole other level of planning and executing yes. and trained people, especially a stunt work too. Stunt work is yeah, great. Yeah, absolutely. Like you pointed out, that was amazing. I always think the combination of both is the, the sweet spot. Do yes. a lot of practical, use some CGI to flare some things up and call yeah, it a day. Yeah, I think like CGI should be reserved for things that we definitely cannot do. And then you get as far as you can with miniatures or other practical solutions and then you meet it halfway with CGI. Exactly. Generator's gone. Any way we can fix it. It's gone, McCready. Oh, that's it. All like gone? Yep. We gotta bring this whole place right down into the ice. Plant yours in the old storage room. Now all down by the generator. Imagine knowing this is it for you. Like, this is it. You just got to save the rest of humanity, but essentially you're, you, there's nothing you can do to save yourself. That's so dark, man. Like, it's such that's a so void. That's so messed up. That's a, yeah. It's like, I have a, like a knot in my stomach just thinking about that. It's the final swan song, man. That's, I don't know if a lot of people would have the bravery and the strength to do that. Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, it's absorbing him already. What the frick? That's how it does it. <laughs> my god. Simple contact with it. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> Don't split, man. How's it coming in there? Never split from the herd. Said, how's it? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I might wanna... That's it. Oh, He's on his own. Oh, the silence. That's great. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! It's coming straight oh, for you. Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Oh, oh. It took the detonator. Dude, this thing is freaking... It's doing the dogs thing again, right? It kind of looks it's, that way. Yeah, it's, it's like an like amalgamation of things. Yeah, well, exactly that. Nice. Okay. Nice Very roll. Very nice. Right in its mouth, go. Yeah, fuck you two! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's it, right? It's a big explosion. Yeah. Ow. Yep, he's gone. There's no way. I would hope both of the... I mean, not both, but I would hope the thing at least is dead, dead. <laughs> dead, dead. Is that him? That's our guy? I think so, yeah. Yep, there he is. How the hell did you survive that, man? That was a pretty bad explosion. Oh, God, bro, what the f- Wait, we don't know if he is- You the only one who made it? Not the only one. Did you kill it? Where were you, Charles? Thought I saw Blair. Got lost in the storm. He's exhausted. You can tell. He's like, psychologically and physically. But you're up all over the camp. Won't last long, though. Neither will we. No. How will we make it? Maybe we should. 
Wow. If you're worried about me. If we've got any surprises for each other, I don't think we're in much shape to do anything about it. Yeah. What do we do? Why don't we just wait here for a little while? Just gonna wait it out, man? See what happens. That, just the simple fact of having to stay out there in the cold. Those freezing temperatures. Nah, they gotta tell us. Don't, don't leave it here, man. Oh my god. Okay. That was great. Open ending. Wow. Do you think one of them was the thing still? One of them had to be, right? It had to be. It's I think it's implied. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this movie was absolutely excellent. You guys were definitely right. It definitely had some of the, those elements that we loved from Alien as well, yes. where it's like a constrained, you know, mm -hmm. place and they're all stuck in one spot. And it's this, it, you know, it had this element of paranoia that I really yes. enjoyed where it's like, yeah. you don't have to have the monster on screen all the time for it to feel tense because now you're doubting everybody yes. in the frame. And I think <laughs> the actors did such a good job at keeping us at the edge of our seats, not really knowing yes. some of them acting a little bit weird, even though they were not the yeah. thing you know i love how they kept that kind of like that energy you know throughout the movie the audience is definitely uncertain as to who might be the thing also love the cinematography in this oh my god it was some beautiful. of those shots were great i think my one of my favorite things was the how dynamic some of the lighting was like the the bright yes. and dark elements within the same frame in the same shot always looked beautiful to me we just finished actually watching godfather and that had a lot of those elements yes. and it's just something that i've been uh growing to appreciate more and more and with horror it definitely works so so well yes it really helps set the tone it's also like the color of the lights right sometimes they were a little bit more warm especially like in the beginning when things were more casual and everyone hmm. is like oblivious of the disaster that's about to hit them <laughs> and then you know like a, in that jump scare right when the <laughs> guy was like taking his notes a scientist i forgot his name and the lights were so cold blue mm -hmm. and then you know he lights the lighter and then you have this tiny little spark in the middle visuals storytelling in this was absolutely incredible i also loved how you know in certain moments there were some nice like static like white screen moments mm -hmm. so you could actually appreciate just how isolated these men were yes how far away and cut off from help they are but also how like especially when there were a couple of moments where like one of the characters is like running down the hall and the camera is oh, yeah. just like right behind them and it adds a really nice switch and pace as well i'm i'm a huge fan of how this was shot. This is absolutely incredible. I love how much they actually got to do with the space that they had and to make us feel as claustrophobic yes. as they probably did. I think a lot of it too had to do with the how nauseating and how uh, disruptive I would call it the handheld was. Mm -hmm. I think they utilized handheld quite well. That's exactly how you want to use it. You want to mm -hmm. use it to, to add that sense of unease for the audience, you know, mm -hmm. for the most part. And I think they <laughs> utilize it like you said. That tracking shot, it really gives you that whoa, that feeling of, okay, I'm, I'm not only following these characters but it almost sucks you into the film i'm i'm seeing their pov i'm feeling like they are feeling and you know when a movie can allow itself to communicate the emotions of those characters and it just it beams them straight into the audience <laughs> and you start feeling the same way that the characters feel mm -hmm. you know you start feeling their emotions I, that's when a movie freaking gets me that's why i'm like okay you got me super <laughs> invested i feel paranoid i feel fear yes. i i'm worried and that's exactly the state of mind that these guys have so you mm -hmm. understand why they do the things that they do right it doesn't come out of left field where you're like well why are they acting yeah. this way no because you're fearful too you're like yeah and all these characters in the way they were written they're acting exactly the the same way that any of us would really yeah in a situation like this you don't have time to plan you don't have time to prepare psychologically mm -hmm. or physically for something like this. So it, it's, it was perfectly done from a storytelling perspective. And I think the visual realization of that was executed. I, I mean, I couldn't have done it. I, I couldn't do any better. I think this was perfect. <laughs> I have no notes for this. I think this was yeah. great. And uh, what's most impressive is that obviously this is not a movie that came out last year. This is a movie that's been a classic and now we know why. 1982, man. Yeah, man. They, man, those guys knew what they were doing. They're, they're insanely talented. But can we talk yeah. about... <laughs> <laughs> the practical effect department. Yes. <laughs> Those guys freaking, they freaking killed Dude, it. Dude, they in this. killed it, man. Jesus. I'm like, also like the design. They were horrendous. Like the, the, they the, were the, ugly. They yes. were like uniquely terrifying. There's nothing I've seen. I mean, I can't think at the top of my head about, uh, you know, of anything 
that looked the way this looked. Yeah, because you know, like, like the xenomorph was terrifying in a whole different way. I was but very still fascinated. aesthetically pleasing. It was you very, know what I mean? yeah, I was very curious about the design. I was like, oh, that it looks unique. It looks interesting. Yeah. But with the thing, it just, I just want to look away. Like it's gnarly. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's like a human face and then like dog faces coming out. I thought they did such an incredible job. Yeah. And the transformations, I have to look up how exactly they did them. I'm just like imagining like some guys away from the shot, just like pulling on wires to get, to get the thing to come apart or yeah. something i don't know i mean it's the layers of the thing too like it was like there was yeah, multiple like layers it wasn't inside. just yeah the inside was, was like so green well spaghetti done noodles. and then you had like yeah like the goo coming out of it and <laughs> everything and all those elements combined together really made it feel real yes and you know what's funny it still holds up like absolutely at no point did it take me out of the movie where i'm like oh my god that no. effect looks so cheap or so cheesy i think no not at all it was done so well and so tasteful i would say that yeah. it doesn't come across as you know something cheesy even after all these years i think it's so effective still because i was yeah. at the edge of my seat you know what i mean and i i i'm doing <laughs> my redemption arc watching older movies and <laughs> you know I, I was that kid that would judge older movies by their effects i was just that kid i was like if a movie doesn't have good effects good visual effects for me it was like oh it's lacking in, in visual storytelling I, that's yeah. how i used to perceive films yeah and now i'm really looking at okay what tools that they have at the time right and i'm seeing it through the the lens of what they had at the right. time instead of judging them today as right you know, with what we have today yeah and funny enough man a lot of these movies and it's gonna hurt to say it but they have something that movies for the most part nowadays don't do and it, that's like taking time to set up your story taking time allows you to just roll with it man because once you hit hit the peak and then you can yeah. just push the snowball off the edge you have you know you've built your story you gain momentum and now you're you're in yes. for a roller coaster of a ride yeah that's absolutely true i do think that um you know i also i also feel like our attention span has shortened quite significantly you know it used to be a little bit more frequent that you would get movies that were like three hours long and whatnot you know you get like the gone with the wind and um like Casablanca, like movies were significantly longer and over time they've gotten shorter. And especially now, right? Like we do have to accommodate as to how people watch movies and it does change. Like culturally, the way we consume media has changed. But I do think we could learn a lot from this, especially oh, yeah. with the storytelling. Absolutely. Because when you take your time, it makes the release that much more effective. It really does. And especially because we've been watching so many more older movies that we never got to watch up until now it's it's genuinely inspiring and the thing is this movie is not even that long there's so many movies nowadays no. that are like what's the average like two hours to two hours and a half this movie is under two hours yes and they're it is. able to take their time to set up your story granted i yeah. understand like the setup is it's much you know it's more contained and it's much simpler but then don't sacrifice a story to create something larger than life if you cannot right. focus on the basics like that's that's my takeaway as a filmmaker yeah. is like no focus on getting your your pillars right and then go yes. crazy from there but make sure that the basics are solid yeah. this movie hit every single beat for me man from the horror really to the tension to <laughs> you know just the, the the horror when shit hit the fan it it, it hit the fan and it Literally. spread across the room like it, everything <laughs> was covered in the thing's goo and it was like great splat. yeah it was amazing i had a great time with this man i really did this was yeah great. same here this was amazing guys thank you so much for watching this with us we hope that you guys enjoy and we'll catch you guys in the next one take care see ya